Yeah, we've had more dramas than you could shake a stick at, but this one is finished and that's it. Yes, onwards. Hey, sup guys, uh, how you doing? Okay, first of all, before we get properly started, thanks to everybody who gave me the huge amount of likes on the last one, the bridge building video. Um, we'll find out if it helps next week and um, I'll get back to you on that one. But really, thanks a lot. I've got like 800 in two days rather than the 400 in a week that I was aiming for, so fantastic. Okay, what we're looking at here is an elevator, a space elevator building machine, just like the bridge builder, yeah? Except this one goes up and it's a little bit more complex. Um, and it's also a little bit more dangerous, so we'll put in lots of health and safety stuff because we don't want to be falling off of this thing halfway up. Launching rescue missions as ever. So this was the first time I tried it. I, I had cameras running and it, it worked straight off the bat, so I was quite, quite pleased with that. Um, and it's a simple machine, it's just the one sensor and a bunch of drives to the wheels and some uh, stabilizing rockets and stuff like that, thrusters to keep it smoothed out. But yeah, so I got cocky right away. I thought, yeah, this is great. Stop and enjoy the view. Lovely, lovely. All the way up. I actually notice I bought some bananas with me as well. Yeah, it's going to be a long journey. It's really, really slow to get up, unlike driving or rocketing up to the ceiling. Doing it this way, whoa, creeping up a couple of blocks at a time. Slow. Anyway, it wasn't without its dramas. There was plenty of dramas all the way up. Drama number one's about to come up, because I did the health and safety around the perimeter, but I forgot to tidy it up around the units themselves, and I fell out on my ass. Okay, uh, so this is rescue mission number one. Let's see what we're going to do here. We'll build a small machine with big wheels and two thrusters, and that should drive us straight up. A couple of stabilizers at the side there, just to stop it wandering. But uh, again, it worked first time. Starting to get used to this game, you know what works and what doesn't. After you've had a few builds, <laughs> like his head slammed against the machine, <laughs> the machine there. He's just like bored out of your skull because he doesn't have a proper driving seat. But hey, uh, up we go. Yeah, so that's a neat little thing. So the idea was to keep that and um, use it again if I should fall out again. Which, as you can imagine, I did. But not on this run up. That was me finished falling out. Now I use this upside down trick um, for the seats. Now, uh, I was watching a video by uh, Shadow Flux, which I will link to, and he showed vertical climbing using seats. So I took it and I turned it upside down, so the seats are upside down. So you can use it from teleporting from level to level, because when you eject, when you're upside down, you go to the next level up if it's a clear space. And um, that's really clever, because it's helped me to get out of quite a few spots. So here we are, gaining a wee bit of height. But um, I've put in some stumbling blocks here so to stop me uh, falling back into the machine again. But what I really should have done was put on some rails to stop uh, these blocks not being uh, set right because it becomes a problem in a little minute. And a little problem turns into a major drama. But um, it's all good stuff, as you'll see. Right, so I'm getting quite cocky now and I start, yeah, okay, we'll speed it up. We'll just go bang, 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 bang. And we're getting a bit of height, even at that speed, but you can see how slow it is, you know, it just goes on and on and on. I don't know how many blocks it took me to get to the top, but Jesus, it must have been a lot, you know, it must have been like a thousand or something, serious number. So I've cut down these actual building uh, sets down to the lowest. Right, okay, so here we go. I just put one on there, it was off-centered and I didn't notice it. Can you see that? It's off-centered and I haven't noticed it. I just carry on building again. And then in a short while, I put another one on. I'm just going to widen the view here because it's really quite nice when it's set up to the max. I put another one on. So now I've got two skewed uh, large tanks and it starts to set the machine off. It starts to send it, you know, like canting and not working properly. But just before we do that, we have another nice high view of it. So there we go, there's another one gone down, and again, I didn't notice it, so eventually I do, I think just about now, there you go, it jumped, see it jumped to the side, now we've got problems. Now rather than just cutting the power to everything and letting it fall a little bit, or even putting down the thrusters on it, I decided to start hacking away at the tanks, hoping that it will fall, um, 
And all that did was make it worse, a lot worse, very quickly. And it got, went from uh, a minor problem into a major emergency. There you go. Idiot feature starts cutting them away. And when it starts canting over seriously, I think, oh, okay, that's fine, we can get out of this. But we can't. I've tried thrusters on and off and everything now, and I'm stuck. I am absolutely stuck. So, I hit upon an idea now. I get the idea. Is I'll just place thrusters about the place, opposite to the angles that we need to push it in, and then just pump on the thrusters until the thing straightens up and falls back down again. Simple. And it worked as well. Um, but there was a few hairy moments, like uh, I stuck my head in a box of bananas to get a quick snack there. <laughs> I don't know why he's doing that, I really don't. And then I accidentally jumped up onto the rail in my enthusiasm. I thought I was going to go over there. I just paused for a second. I thought, well, might as well have a decent selfie. But you can see, got good height so far, but they've got miles to go. Anyway, thrusters everywhere um, to try and get this thing to straighten up and clonk back down onto the, the onto the main spar. Uh, I think in the end I had about 10 thrusters at all sorts of different angles. And I put them all on push button outside each other just to make it as difficult as I could for myself because that's what I'm like. But I make an even bigger mistake here and I managed to get away with it. There's a thruster there holding things up. Right, when I delete it, it drops. Boom, now there's another one holding it up. It doesn't register with me. I just go ahead and start tidying up the gantry, getting rid of all the thrusters that I put on, and then I come back and I cut that one. And what do you think happens? Yeah! Shit! Okay, which is what I should have done in the first time anyway, but maybe in a seat. So I've got to jump about and try and get that damn switch, and I get the switch, and oh, I just saved it and no more. So that was quite a few near misses between jumping up on the rails, between catting it over and then going into free fall. I managed to escape quite a lot of problems there, but mostly by luck. Of course, yeah, I did it straight away again, right? I mean, you know, this is about a half an hour later. I've gone up again, but this time I decided it wasn't difficult enough last time. I decided to fall into the machine right into it. So I'm canted over. And then I go bump, bump down to the bottom and say, oh, how much worse can it get? And then I remember my little trick, the one where you just place a seat upside down, as long as you've got a clear view of something and there's nothing on the other side of it, you go click, and then click into it and then click out of it, bump. And there you go, brilliant. So here we go then. Um, we're heading up towards the top and I'm starting to think we should be there by now because it's just taking absolutely forever. I've noticed I've put some guide rails in now so that the, the tanks have to more or less go onto the right spot to stop me getting that uh, problem, right? So I take stopped to take a little look around. It looks great, but where's the top? I keep going up and up and up and up. No sign of it at all. <laughs> So, we need to find out where the top is. So I was thinking, how can I do that? Well, I came up with the idea that I could build a rocket, if I could find somewhere to set it off from, fire the rocket up and uh, try to figure out where the ceiling is and how much further they've got to go. But I thought I would pose for a few selfies first. It's quite cool up here, huh? Quite nice. Okay, so that's the only place I could get a lift was on top of the actual elevator shaft itself. So I built a little two-pronged rocket, nothing too complicated, with one switch and then switched it to full power, cut the lift away and I'll slow this down for you so you can see it so I can get an idea of where the ceiling is because I've no idea how far it's got to go. And there it is. And two, three, doink. So it's still got a good, and I'm, like I say, I've been doing this for a long time at this point. I've been just climbing so slowly. Still got a good bit to go, but we'll we'll jump past that. We'll go right on now until we get to the top. Quickly, quickly, hurry up. So it's nearly there. That blue spike to the right hand side of me there, that's there so that the ceiling, I've arrived, the ceiling doesn't squeeze me off the gantry when I get there. So that hits it before I do. So a few more on just to sort of tweak it to get me up to the top. And then 
now that we've tested it, we know they're there, we go on to phase two, which is to build, so it'll be three phases. The first one was to build the actual elevator shaft, if you like, or the spindle, whatever you call it, I don't know. Uh, and the next one is to build a working platform, and then the third one is to is to commute up and down and start doing stuff again. Because I, tr I tried to do the space station in the previous one, and I run into problems with it, so someone suggested just building one like this. Um, in the last video and said I went for it and this is how we're going about it now. Okay, so enough waffling. We're about to uh, put down, we've got a seat there, we're about to start heading down the way. Now I knew I wouldn't um, just go flying down right away because the wheels are all electric and then because it's just a prototype I didn't have any reverse on it so it was kind of juddery. It sort of juddered and shook all the way down. But eh, we still got down in a reasonably quick time. But that's one for, not the next machine, but the finished machine, the third machine, is to make sure that I can uh, just like totally whiz down. And the other thing would be nice would be to get rid of the thrusters altogether so that it's all working on pressure. But I'll need to put some squeeze action into the wheels so that they actually grip the pole on all directions because these ones are only gripping on one direction and the thrusters are holding them on. So it's cheating a little bit. I really would like to do it just with the wheels. But hey, look at that. We did it. It looks like one of those solar salt uh, energy uh, towers, you know, where they melt the salt and get the energy out of it in Spain and places like that. That's what it looks like. It's pretty awesome. It's pretty tall. Okay, so what we did next was we built a second layer, a second uh, platform now onto the bottom of that one yeah and we spread it right out quite massive so that I could have a decent sort of working area for when I'm up there to build things. I've been thinking about how to get the station started and I've finally cracked it so that that would be the one of the next ones. I know how to make it safe and how to make it big. So there we go. Like as you can see, it's much bigger. I've got a lot more uh, thrusters, a lot more wheels, a lot more engines, a lot more stability. And um, it's even got a pilot seat that faces up the way. It starts getting thrown about all over the place. Uh, so it really is bumpy. So there's a lot of problems to iron out, a lot of things to do to make this a workable system. But, um, well, to make it a perfect system, it's workable as it is. It's not too bad at all. Quite pleased with that. And to go from the very simple Build, bridge building one to this a much more complex one and within 40 hours quite happy with that. That's a nice image isn't it? It comes down. Anybody ever read Kim Stanley Robinson's Mars Trilogy? And uh, in one of them where, I'm getting frames per second jumping, in one of them where the, um, the space elevator falls back to Earth, it gets sabotaged, it falls back to Mars I should say. And uh, that was really quite a dramatic book. So if you haven't read that trilogy you should give it a go, it's really good. And off we go, to the top. Now, I had intended to go up here and um, actually start the, uh, the building processes, but I decided instead to put the plate underneath my chair and fall on my ass again all the way down. So, that was fun. There we go. It's a big, big drop. It just seemed to take longer than the other. I like the way that antenna comes in. <laughs> And then I did the professional face plant with uh, you know like face plant like a boss. There you go. He's buried up to his ass in the ground. <laughs> Fantastic. Ah, somebody's like having a wee sob in there. But it's about getting the old um, rescue machine back up again. Except this time it's a long freaking way up. But same machine, just tarted it up a little bit, and then away we go. And we're nearly there now. I nearly fluffed this as well because I sort of over revved it and the wheels climbed off the off of the tower and onto the, the platform itself and I was in some shape. You know, it's all over the shop. You can see the panel that I cut out the chair was on that I fell <laughs> fell through. So that's the first thing I gotta do. See there it is, it's trying to climb out of the way. And I got into a real bind, I really did. Anyway, 
This time I can actually see one of the other chairs that exist there already, so it's a real easy thing just to teleport from A to B, and we go. But it's turned out to be quite a monster machine this time, isn't it? It really has. Um, you still see a little rescue machine down there. I had to cut that free and just send it back and then repair that hole. Um, but the dramas weren't quite over yet. I had set out to, um, like I say, start building or at least do some experimental building just to see what needed to be done. But, um, shortly after this sequence here, I got my first few blocks up onto the ceiling and I did it again. I just can't believe it. So it's not so much I need to put health and safety uh, bits and pieces around the unit itself. I just need to train myself to stop making a mess of it. Um, I think it's just shortly after this. But anyway, it was a ma major success. I got I got up down, I built a shaft, and uh, I built the second the working platform. And I've tested a few things out, and I now know what the best building techniques are up on the ceiling now. I've got a cracking idea to make it safe um, and easy as well, not too difficult. So that'll be that. Some great views so though. You really get the impression that you're working up on a, uh, a really high platform, like the bars to buy or something like that. So you know, the communications tower. So it's thrown about now that I decide somehow to uh, take myself out of the picture and start falling again. What it is with me is my right finger sometimes rests on the mouse and I will accidentally just delete something as I'm moving around and then find myself like this, floating through space, serenely, heading for the ground. Alright folks, thanks for watching, thanks for all those likes you gave me last time, like this one too if you like it, okay, catch you later, bye.